We have an update tonight on a road rage shooting that shut down traffic in Gorse on Monday during the evening commute. The 68-year-old man who was shot has died. Now the man accused of pulling the trigger, Mark Smith, faces a murder charge. Fox 13's Jennifer Dowling went to the victim's home, and Jen, you spoke with the family about what happened. What did they share with you? I did. They say it's a horrible time right now and are asking for privacy. I also spoke to neighbors who say they're shocked by what happened and they're happy the man who's accused in the crime is facing justice. If it is the person, you know, that I'm thinking it is, it um, very shocking. Patrick Weems lived in what this neighbor describes as a friendly community in University Place. We're, you know, a close-knit neighborhood. He appeared well-liked in many circles, with one friend posting online that he was a fun guy who always smiled and was great to work with. Neighbors call it a sad situation. People are so quick to pull the trigger. Just move on and go on with your day. Nothing is worth a life at all to me. The 26-year-old accused of shooting Weems in the head faced a judge in Kitsap County Court Wednesday. Mark Smith, when you're ready. The Washington State Patrol reports Smith and Weems became involved in a road rage incident Monday. Troopers said the men made a U-turn on SR-16 and pulled onto a shoulder area near the Kitsap Auto Outlet. Their witnesses reported seeing Weems get out of his car with a bat. There was a fight, and that's when Smith is accused of opening fire. Weems was taken to St. Joe's in Tacoma, where he later died. Thank you. This charge is murder in the second degree. This carries with it a maximum penalty of um, life in prison. And... Um, by a $50,000 fine. Smith is accused of fleeing. The Washington State Patrol says the forerunner he was driving was found a few miles away and he was arrested. A weapon and backpack were found nearby. Members of the Weems family were in court. The family of the victim is here. Um, they had thought conditions of release would be addressed, so they were here. Um, I, I, make a the judge determined a statement wasn't needed. I don't intend to address conditions of release right now. The million dollar bail remains. And Smith entered a not guilty plea in court today. Another court date has been set for mid-August. In the newsroom, Jennifer Dowling, Fox 13 News.